In preparation for fall and potential flooding, here's how to properly fill and place a sandbag. First, start with two people, each wearing gloves. One person holds, one person fills. Holding the bag, fold the throat of the bag to form a collar. Place the bag between your feet, keeping a wide stance with knees slightly flexed. Shovel the sand, emptying into the bag carefully. The person holding the bag should keep their head and face as far from the shovel as possible. Do not rush when filling the sandbags. Fill the sandbags approximately one-third or halfway full. Finally, tie the sandbag using the ties attached to the bag. Double it over to ensure the bag is closed securely. Next, determine the best location for the barrier. The barrier should be parallel to the flow of water. When placing the sandbags, place the filled portion of the sandbag on top of the unfilled portion of the bag next to it. Place the remaining bags on top, offsetting by one half length of the previous bag. Stagger the joint connections when multiple layers are necessary. Stamp into place to make a tight seal. Another way to make the barrier more effective would be to use plastic on the water side of the sandbags. Place the plastic under the bottom row of the barrier and weigh down with additional bags. The barrier should be between one and five sandbags high. A pump is advised to remove any water that gets through or any rain that accumulates. Now you have a proper sandbag barrier.